It's time once again for me to hop into the swamp and talk about one of the grossest bits of drama YouTube has seen in quite some time with the EDP 445 situation. Last week I made a whole video going over everything, no stone left unturned, I was putting my cock into every briefcase full of information I could find, and now today, only a week later, a lot more has happened, and there's a lot of things that I'd like to follow up on and kind of update, because I streamed all of this, and if you missed the stream, you fucked up, big mistake, you're missing out. And so when I did that, it was still like a developing story, and now we're reaching like the conclusion here, the end of the manga. So I just wanted to go over this because it is a crazy story. The EDP 445 situation is like going to a water park, but all of the water has been exchanged for sewage instead. It's fucking gross and yucky, but it's also kind of a wild ride. Before I get into it though, there's something I want to mention, it's unrelated to all this. Today I'm doing a big charity stream for a charity I'm very passionate about called Cure Rare Disease. It's going to be a massive art stream, so if you want to see more masterpieces like this being made for charity, please tune in, it's at twitch.tv slash moistcritical. It'll be going on when this video goes up and will be happening for most of the night, so please feel free to stop by, the link's in the description. I'll just hit you real quick with a brief plot summary here. EDP445 was a massive YouTuber who got Chris Hansened by another group online called Predator Poachers. They pretended to be a 13 year old girl who hit up EDP and then the conversation got all sexual and eventually they got him to try and meet with a 13 year old girl and that's when they really caught him in 4k. And there's a lot more to it, obviously. Like, there's even an entire saga here in the anime where EDP sent pictures of his shit, his actual shit, into, in a toilet bowl. He sent pictures of that to the 13 year old girl not that that's like super crucial in the story or anything like you know the fbi is not going to see those shit pictures and be like well we fucking got him now you know we weren't going to press charges till we saw this awful loaf of shit in the toilet but it's something that i find to just be so weird and wacky that i can't help but mention it every time i hear or talk about the edp story because i've never even heard of someone like sending shit pics he also does send dick pics too he, he plays by the meta but the shit pics was truly something innovative. But anyway, that's basically just the story. YouTuber gets Chris Hansen and gets caught uh, as a pedophile in a sting operation here by the Predator Poachers. And in most cases, you would expect the person behind this to be someone good looking to do something great for the community, like they did a great act catching a bad person. So you would expect most people would be patting them on the back, you know, patting them on the ass, telling them good game. But you can't really do that for the guy behind Predator Poachers. His name is Alex. And since this big bust, a lot has come out about Alex. It's a lot of awful fucking shit. Half of it I can't even begin to show on YouTube because it is really deplorable stuff. Basically what happened is the Spider-Man meme where both Spider-Men are pointing at each other, but in real life. It was like a cliche scene from an action movie right before the villain dies. He's like, I'm taking you with me. That's what happened. So they bust EDP. But then Alex gets busted as well. Tons of clips surfaced from Alex where he was being extremely racist, dropping the N-word, hard R, homophobia. He was being really creepy to a decoy, asking them to do stuff for him, claiming it was a predator asking. It, it was really unsettling, disturbing, gross shit. He'd also make jokes about having children in his basement that he fucks. Like, he was a weird, gross fucking guy. And since all of this came out and the story blew up, EDP445 has been banned off YouTube and Chet Goldstein has been banned off YouTube. Chet Goldstein was the channel that Alex would use from Predator Poachers for all of the content, and it's unclear whether or not he was banned for all the racism that was on the channel or really what he was banned for. Uh, if I had to spitball a guess, it would probably be all of the fucking racist shit that came out, and a lot of it was on the Chet Goldstein channel. That would be my guess. But I know when I mentioned this during the initial video, a lot of people were mad at me for saying, just because the guy behind it's a bad guy doesn't discredit the investigation or the work. And I never said it did. Uh, you're just actual stupid brain to think that because this guy is bad... I am now all of a sudden defending EDP. Nobody's doing that. EDP's bad and so are the people behind it. It was a good thing done by shitty people. It happens. You can still point out the shitty people while still acknowledging the good thing. I don't know why all of a sudden that was controversial to say. And it's still controversial. Like when people point out how awful of a person Chet Goldstein was, 
people often get met with angry comments saying, who cares? Doesn't matter. Being racist isn't as bad as being a pedophile. But I mean, they're both bad, so you can still point them out as bad. Like, you're just fucking dumb. Anyway, let me show you some of the clips because people were also downplaying the severity of how awful this Chet Goldstein Alex guy was. So let me just show you a little bit. Highly censored, though, because this kind of shit is awful. Dude, you can't say fucking live stream. Oh, it's man. Dude, the n are gonna get offended and report us. Oh, you're right. What the fuck is wrong with you? This guy just said a racist creep. Ugh. Where are you, black? Yeah. It's probably a fucking angry n or something. Oh, you're right. I don't want to eat anything right now. What the fuck, racist for real? The <laughs> three! <laughs> <laughs> I have a three-year-old in my basement that's like vi that's like lacking vitamin D. I provide her with plenty of D, just not the vitamin part. Oh no, that's not good either. Oh really? Not if it's a child. Well, I was tired of being a virgin, so what oh, the fuck? Wow. Yeah. Fucking nick. Oh shit, I said that in front of 216 people. <laughs> yeah, the guy fucking sucks ass. Like, he's not a good person. He did a good thing, but he's not a good person. You can point out the good thing and also point out that the person is bad. It, it's not one or the other. It can be both. EDP is bad. Check Goldstein. Alex. Predator Poachers Alex is bad. Now there is one thing I'd also like to set the record straight on. The guy that was with Alex when they busted EDP on camera. The guy that was wearing the mask. He is not associated with Alex. That is a completely different person named CC Unit. He is not like a affiliated with Alex and his shit. He doesn't like sign off on it or anything from everything I've seen from the guy. He just happened to collaborate with them on this case and unfortunately like a porta potty being rocked back and forth got caught in the crossfire of shit. Which is unfortunate because I mean he's probably he was probably a good guy and probably had good intentions. He's been doing this for a lot of years from what I can tell. Uh, whereas Alex was just looking to capitalize and make money off it. He was pumping merch through it when you went to the website, all it was was payment plans for like Predator Poacher merch and him saying he'll come to your city to do like a stand-up routine and put like a finger in his butthole, smell it and laugh. Like all Alex wanted was money out of it and he got like 100,000 subs. He wouldn't even post the video till it got fully monetized. But CC Unit is not affiliated with that. He's completely separate and just happened to be there and collab with him on the day that they busted EDP. So I actually really do feel bad for that guy, assuming that he doesn't have a past like Alex. But from what I've seen, he does seem to just genuinely want to help make the community a better place. Now, don't pump those brakes yet because this ride is still going. You can't get the fuck out of here. This is Mr. Bones Wild Ride. This is a never-ending adventure here. The biggest development is absolutely the authorities getting involved and in saying that they are going to look into the case. But, they also acknowledge that it could be a bit difficult given that this is not a very well conducted investigation by people that are less than professional. Which is a remarkable understatement. Calling Alex less than professional is like calling a shotgun blast to the chest a minor boo-boo. It just doesn't really do it justice. It doesn't really capture the magnitude of the statement. Now in the initial video I showed you a couple different examples. One where the predator poachers made it much more difficult for authorities to move in and actually apprehend a pedophile. They said that the investigation was so bad that they couldn't really sanitize it and use it and it just made it a lot harder for them to actually get charges against the predator. So we've seen examples where the vigilante predator hunters are really counterproductive to getting a pedophile behind bars but then in the same video I also showed you an example where they were successful and helpful in getting a predator uh, put away for at least a small length of time. So there's really no way to know where this is going to fall if it's going to be like this investigation just fucked the case in the ass and now all of a sudden EDP isn't going to face any charges or if this was actually helpful to the case. Overall, like I said in the last video, I think them going public with it isn't inherently a bad thing. Even if they were just trying to use this as like a spectacle for views and money, bringing it to the public eye was probably the right call regardless because he was a public figure with a public platform using that platform to prey on kids. So coming public and getting that platform removed from him absolutely was the right call to combating this case in particular. But whether or not that's going to make it harder for authorities to actually put him in jail is what we're going to have to wait to find out. All I know for sure is there are no heroes in this story, but there was a good act done by a bad person. 
And what a fucking crazy week on YouTube it's been from all of this shit. Actually, probably one of the like wildest things I've seen on the platform. And yeah, I just wanted to do a little follow up to it. I don't know if we'll hear any more about EDP and all this because I imagine from this point forward, it's going to be between him and the authorities. So it probably won't be any more like public drama stuff on EDP, but who knows? Anyway, just wanted to follow this up and yeah, that's about it. See ya.